Hi class, we're going to practice some more problems with our recursive formula. So here's a word problem that uses that. Dr. Franklin begins an experiment with 100 bacteria in a container. She finds that the number of bacteria present by any given time is modeled by the following recursive formula. So at a sub 0, there's 100 bacteria, and then at a sub n, it's 2 times the value of the previous term. So here is where she defines her variables, this Dr. Franklin. Um, N is the number of hours after beginning the experiment, and how many bacteria are present after five hours after the beginning of the experiment. So A sub zero is before the experiment even happens. So she has 100 bacteria before any time has passed. Okay, so before the experiment starts, 100 bacteria. So now what happens after one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, so on and so forth, those are A sub Ns. Okay? So, how many bacteria are present five hours after the beginning of the experiment? Well, if A sub zero is 100, then I ask you, what happens after one hour? What is the value of A sub n? Well, A sub one, if I put a one right here, class, what does that make this? Well, it's one minus one, which is then zero. Okay? So now, this whole thing becomes a sub 0. So what is 2 multiplied by a sub 0? Well, a sub 0 is 100. It's right here. So 2 times 100, the value of a sub 1 is 200. 2 times 100. So after 1 hour, there's 200 bacteria. Now that we know that, let's find the value of a sub 2. So we're going to start this process over again. We're going to find the value of a sub 2. So if n is a 2, it tells you that right here, n is a 2, then this has to be a 2. So what is 2 minus 1? Obviously 1. So now this becomes, what is a sub 1? We know what that is. a sub 1 is right here, it's 200. So basically to find a sub 2, it's 2 multiplied the value of the previous term, which is 200. So what's 2 times 200? The value of the second term is 400. Hopefully, maybe you've caught on to the pattern by now. By now, all you're doing is multiplying 2 times the value of the previous term, or the previous hour. So now let's do that for a sub 3, a sub 4, and finally a sub 5. So if we want to find a sub 3, we have to take 2 and multiply it by this. And a sub n minus 1 is the value of the previous term. And the value of the previous term is 400. So 2 times 400, after 3 hours, there is now 800 bacteria. Let's do this for 2 more hours. So after 4 hours, a sub 4 equals 2 times the value of the previous term, which is 800. So 2 times 800, a sub 4 is 1,600. Lastly, after 5 hours, a sub 5 is 2 times the value of the previous term. The value of the previous term is 1,600. So what's 1,600 times 2? A sub 5 is 3,200. And this is our answer, 3,200 bacteria. Kind of crazy that there starts to be 100 bacteria, and after 5 short hours, it's now up into the thousands of 3,200. Quite significant. Let's look at this one. Here is our recursive formula. Okay? So I know that the first term is 4. Okay? And here's how you find every other successive term. So find the first five terms of each sequence. So if I know that, I know that when I use recur recursive, I have to know the value of the previous term. So I'm going to say a sub 1 is what? a sub 2 is what? a sub 3 is what? a sub 4 and a sub 5. These are the value of the first five terms. This helps me strategize. So a sub 1, bam, I know it. It's 4. First one's done. Cake. The second one, I want to find a sub 2. So this number right here is a sub 2. Now I ask you, class, what does n have to be to make a sub 2? Well, it has to be a 1, correct? Because 1 plus 1 is 2. So it's like you're calling n the number 1 now. A sub 1 plus 1 is a sub 2. So if n is a 1 right here, then n has to be a 1 right here. So we're going to take 3 
and multiply it by a sub 1. So what's the value of the first term? Bam! It's right there. It is 4. And then we're going to subtract 6. So what is 12 then? Minus 6. It is the number 6. So the value of my second term is the number 6. Let's keep on following this same process. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, what is the value of the third term? So what is a sub 3? So now I'm saying that this right here has to be an a sub 3. So what does n have to be here, class? It has to be a 2, because 2 plus 1 is a sub 3. So if n is a 2 right here, then n has to be a 2 right here. So it's a sub 2. So I'm going to have 3 times the value of a sub 2. And what is a sub 2? It's right there. It is 6. So it's 3 times 6 minus 6. What's 3 times 6? It's 18. What's 18 minus 6? The value of my third term is 18 minus 6, which is 12. Let's keep on keeping on. We're now going to find the value of the next one, which is the value of the fourth term. So a sub 4, let's do this again here, class. a sub 4 is this. So if I want to find a sub 4, what does that mean n has to be? Well, that means n has to be a 3, because a 3 plus 1 gives me this 4. So if n is 3 on the left side, then n has to be a 3 right there. So I'm going to have 3 multiplied by a sub 3. What is a sub 3? It is 12. So it's 3 times 12 minus 6. 3 times 12 is 36, and 36 minus 6 is 30. So the value of my fourth term is 30. And lastly, I'm going to find now the value of a sub 5. So a sub 5 is going to be what is on the left side of my recursive formula. So this value right here is a sub 5. That means that n has to be a 1, because 4 plus 1 is 5. So that means a 4 has to be right here as well. So it's 3 times a sub 4. It is 3 multiplied by a sub 4, which is 30 and then subtract 6. 3 times 30 is 90. 90 minus 6 is 84. My answer for the value of the fifth term is the number 84. Last one. I'm going to erase all this mess. I hope that doesn't offend anybody, just so I can make more room for myself. Once again, the directions are the exact same. Find the first five terms of each sequence. So I'm just going to write over here, what is a sub 1? What is a sub 2? What is a sub 3? What is a sub 4? And what is a sub 5? This helps me strategize again. Okay, a sub 1, yes, it gives it to me. It is 4. So I'm on to a sub 2. Yes, it gives it to me. It's a negative 3. So now I'm on to a sub 3. What do I know about a sub 3? Not too much just yet. It means I, ne I need to find it. So class, on the left side right now, I need to find a sub 3 next. So I ask you this question. If this number right here is a sub 3, what does that mean n has to be? Well, what plus 2 equals 3? My n has to be 1 because 1 plus 2 is 3. So if n is 1 on the left side, then n has to be 1 right here, and n has to be 1 right here. So I'm going to have a sub 1 plus 1, which is a sub 2. So what is the value of my second term, or what is a sub 2? It is the number 3. So the number that comes first here, let me go down a little bit, a sub 3 is right here. That equals a sub 1 plus 1, which is a sub 2, which is a negative 3, plus 2 times the quantity of a sub n, which once again, n is the number 1. So a sub 1. And what is a sub 1? It is right here. It is 4. So what is 4 times 2? It's 8. What's 8 minus 3? It is 5. So the value of my third term is the number 5. If this seemed kind of weird right now, which it may have, pay close attention to as we do what a sub 4 is, because there is a pattern as we keep on going. So now we're going to find a sub 4. a sub 4 equals this number right here is going to be a sub 4. So what does that mean n has to be? 
it must be the number 2, because 2 plus 2 obviously is 4. So that must mean that a 2 goes in here for this end, and a 2 goes right in here for this end. So this number is a sub 2 plus 1, or it is a sub 3. What is the value of a sub 3? Right there, it's 5. So 5 plus 2 times a sub n. 2 times a sub n, which a which n is the number 2. So it's 2 times a sub 2. a sub 2 is this one, which is a negative 3. So now we're going to simplify this. Here becomes a negative 6. A negative 6 plus 5 is a negative 1. So my fourth term is a negative 1. All right, my last one. If you haven't got the pattern yet, hopefully you get it on this one. What is the value of a sub 5? Let's go hop back up to the top. I now know that this number on the left side is a 5, a sub 5. So if that has to be a 5, then that means n must be the number 3, because 3 plus 2 is 5. So if an n is a 3 on the left, then n has to be a 3 on the right whenever you see it. So now I have a sub 3 plus 1, and 3 plus 1 is 4. So this value right here becomes a sub 4. And what is a sub 4? It's this number right here. It's a negative 1. So that equals a negative 1 plus 2 times the quantity right here, 2 times a sub n. And n is the number 3. So it's plus 2 times a sub 3. And what's the value of a sub 3? This one, it is 5. So 2 times 5 is 10, and 10 plus a negative 1 is 9. So the value of my fifth term is 9. And this is my answer for this particular one. Find the first five terms. There they all are. Okay? So hopefully that recursive formula makes sense. It's just a very detailed way of showing your work, which is important. So our worksheet is going to be on that. This is the recursive formula worksheet. It's 11.4. There's also going to be three Excel math objectives on those word problems that I showed you in the previous video lesson. And that concludes Chapter 11. Be sure to do those objectives in a timely fashion so you could ask me questions before you get too far behind.